This video will introduce you to the basics of graphing a linear equation with the TI-8384 calculator. The problem that we're given is to graph y equals 4x plus 1. We'll first do this by hand by generating a t-table that gives us a representative sample of ordered pairs that satisfy the given equation. I'm going to select values for input, a negative value, 0, and a positive value, and then determine the output using the equation. A lot of students believe that the ordered pairs that you graph are random. They are not. The only random elements are the inputs that you choose. The outputs are tied to the inputs by the equation. So if my input is negative 2, to compute my output, I insert negative 2 for x and then evaluate. Negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. If my input is 0, 4 times 0 plus 1 equals 1. If my input is 2, 4 times 2 plus 1 equals 8 plus 1 or 9. I have now identified three ordered pairs that satisfy the given equation. I'm going to go to my graph and I'm going to plot these ordered pairs. Negative 2, negative 7 is here, 0, 1 is here, and 2, 9 is here. When you plot your points then, you're going to want to connect them. The reason we connect them is that the line re represents the visual of all of the solutions to the equation. We can't possibly draw them all by plotting points. But when we connect representative points with the line, we are visually showing all of the solutions for the equation that we were given. It's very good form also to label your points to give yourself a good graph. So this one was 2, 9. And also to label the axes. The x-axis is the horizontal and the y-axis is vertical. Now, let's use our calculator. Go ahead and turn on your calculator. And the first thing we're going to do to graph this equation is we're going to press the button y equals. Our equation is 4x plus 1. I'm going to need to move this up so that you can see the buttons that I'm pushing. I need to enter the equation. The y part is already entered, so I'm going to press 4, and then x, which is on this second row, plus 1. Now my equation is entered. If I want to graph on the same window that I'm given in my own graph that I generated here by hand, I'm going to press the zoom and zoom standard will give me what's called the default window. So let's write that here. Zoom 6 standard will give me the default window, which is negative 10 to 10. And then I press Enter. And you'll notice that the graph is exactly like the one that we drew by hand. To verify ordered pairs and to perhaps select additional ordered pairs, if I'm asked to do that, I can access the table function of the calculator. So to get to the table, I'm going to press the second key. So to get to the table, I'm going to press the second key, which gives me access to all of the blue functions table is right above graph so I'm going to press that and notice so let me write this here second graph will give me table notice then that I have a listing of ordered pairs that looks like what I had on my paper before so let's see if we can find all of our ordered pairs so there's negative 2 negative 7 if I scroll there's 0 1 and if I keep scrolling there's 2, 9. So I can scroll up and down to look at the values on the table. 
To get back to the window where I had the graph, I can just press graph. So that, this is the basics then for graphing linear equations on the TI-8384.